folks, you know me. You know that I am very proud of the fact that I upload everything. Win, loss, body bag, one way or the other. I always upload any battles that I have um, without exception. Well, today I am making an exception. Uh, this is the second battle they had with Flaming Axel. The, uh, he challenged me to an RU battle. And in our first battle, he brought a Mega Ampharos and completely swept me. And so after the battle, I was like, dude, he, he uh, didn't see any of my chats during the battle because he had to be in another room. And uh, I was like, dude, you can't bring a Mega Ampharos. He was like, oh god, I'm so sorry. Can we have a rematch? Um, I'll bring a different team. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So, um, second battle. Uh, he's still bringing a lot of threats um, and a lot of things that I have to be worried about. But uh, Regice is not one of those things, I thought. Like, Regice, no one ever sees Regice. Regice is a joke. It's like NU or PU or something. It's really a, not that great of a Pokemon. So I outspeed it with my Quillfish, and I'm thinking, uh, you know, I took that Ice Beam fine. I figured he'd switch out. He didn't switch out. He went for the Thunderbolt and took out my Quillfish. So I totally underestimated this Regice, and it's going to kick me in the butt. So now I send out my special wall, George III, and considering that Thunderbolt is non-stab, I mean, um, Quillfish is a physical wall, not a special wall, has basically no special defense, so I wasn't surprised that a Thunderbolt took it out. I would have been surprised if a Thunderbolt had done more damage to me. I was expecting him to switch out, uh, because I am a special wall, but he actually stayed in, and in, uh, so he's the one who got, uh, T-bolted, uh, not T-bolted, uh, paralyzed. I go ahead for a, and go for a super effective, um, uh, uh yeah, Fire Blast, it does nothing. And so, again, I'm really underestimating this Regice. I had to look up its stats. Its stats are insane. It has insanely high special defense. So I'm, you know, considering I have no special attack investment, it's not really very surprising that I'm doing so little. So my only hope is really to whittle him down. But you know what? I only have eight Fire Blasts, and I don't think I can get through him. So now I get paralyzed. By the way, are you noticing the fact that uh, I've got that little yellow thing over those two Pokemon that are paralyzed? I'm actually very proud of this. Um... This is one part of my lad. Oh, yeah, you see spikes on the bottom. Yeah, I just love this new layout. If you guys hate it, please let me know and I'll change it. Just don't let me know what you hate. But um, this is a, this was actually a really good battle to kind of really test a lot of things. So you notice yellow changed to white as um, Regice went to sleep. This is a freaking rest talk set. I have no idea how I'm going to take it out. Oh, the only thing I can hope... I was actually really glad that he, uh, he had the uh, sleep talk because what it means is that... Um, when I send out... Yeah, so, hey, Heal Bell, and suddenly the Paralysis is gone. Um, so I've got Steelix on my team, and Steelix has the Stab Gyro Ball, and so he... I mean, Regice isn't fast or anything, but I should still be able to do a decent chunk with it, especially considering I don't... Uh, Regice's weakness is the fact that it has low defense. Um, but that's for later. Uh, in the meantime, this guy's just a huge threat. Luckily, he can't do anything to my Audino. So now he sends out Scraggy, I'm um, gonna get hurt by the spikes, and I'm, I actually withdraw the same turn. I go out into Steelix, gonna definitely want to switch out here. Yeah, so that sucks for me. Uh, I go now out into Magna. I should be able to wall him for days. He shows me that he's the bulk up set. That's, uh, it's not great, but it's not awful. Um, so he's gonna go for the crunch here, and as you can see, I take that quite well. I go for the spore, thinking that he's probably, um... Uh, the ability that when you... Oh, Moxie. Uh, but he's not Moxie. He's Shed Skin. I'm like, crap. Because he's going to keep on being able to bulk up, and there's nothing I can do. Uh, I've lost my Hazer. Uh, yeah, I really needed to have preserved my Quillfish. I played really stupidly at the beginning of this match. So now I'm like, well, what am I going to do? This thing is going to completely annihilate me because it's going to be able to get up to, like, plus a gazillion. So I go for another Spore here, and you're like, but Antar, he has a Shed Skin. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your time, man. Um, but I have, a, I have a plan. Hold on. Don't give up on me yet. I go out, out, out into Tachikoma. My Scarf Rotom, he stays asleep. Good, 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 good. I go for the trick. Yes, I go for the trick. And so he's going to now be Choice Scarf. And you might think... So you just gave him a choice scarf, so now he's a plus two Scraggy, and you're happy about that. And I'm like, yes, yes I am happy about it, because he's a Scraggy, not a Scrafty, and Magna can wall him as long as he doesn't get the defense drops. Uh, I really wish, by the way, that Steelix were um, still, still resisted Dark, because then I could send Steelix out and Steelix would wall him for days, and I could uh, phase him out uh, with the Roar. Actually, I still think I could do that. That would probably would have been the better move here to um, phase him out. But he's locked in. I figured let's just, you know, I can I can synthesis off any uh, damage if I get too low, like right now. Um, really good thing he didn't get a crit. Really good thing he didn't get a crit at all this battle. 
um, on, you know, where it mattered. So, yeah. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and crunch again. Um, and I'm, I'm taking those okay. I go for the sludge bomb. I'm kind of hoping to get him poisoned. But, you know, with shed skin anyway, it wouldn't really work out. Uh, anyway, so he goes for the crunch. My health is going to be really low. I go for the synthesis. Uh, you know, the sucks the synthesis only has eight. I think a lot of other recovery moves have, like, 16. Maybe more. Um, but th the fact that Synthesis has such low PP is just unfair in my opinion. So I go for the Giga Drain here to take out the Scraggy. And uh, so now it's 5-5 five, five again. And I'm happy about that. So Scraggy is down. And Magna is high enough that if I when I withdraw it next turn, it'll recover a lot. So he sends out uh, Golurk. I'm thinking, I think I can take a, a non-stab Ice Punch. Yeah, I think I can take that. And I can't. And I do the couch like, no, Antar, you cannot take you cannot take a um, Iron Fist. No, that was just stupid. That was just stupid. So I, again, I played really stupidly, and now I lost my primary counter for um, Sharpedo. And I'm an idiot. I'm a complete and total idiot. So yeah. So Tachikoma. Well, so here's here's the situation. So I think about uh, actually tricking this thing that you violate, um, because then it won't have recovery, but it's it still has rest. So really, wouldn't it wouldn't be that much worth my time? I go now out into Hatterack. Um, he wakes up, goes for the Thunderbolt. I'm not sure why. I think he thought I was going to go out into Slowking. That's that's actually the only thing that makes sense. Here he goes for the Ice Beam, and I was really thinking he'd switch out, but he didn't. And so I set up Stealth Rock. So yay, that's nice. I have more uh, entry hazards. Um, but yeah, no, that's not gonna work out so well for me. Um, sorry about the late, the late Stealth Rock there. Um, didn't really matter, did it? Uh, so anyway, he I, I am going to go for the Gyro Ball here, and it's going to turn out that I could have gone for two, and I could have taken him out. Um, but I didn't. And so because of that, I have not taken him out. And yes, I have Rock Step, that's great, but I'm assuming his uh, his uh, Golbat has Defog. I don't know that Golbat has Defog, but I assume it does. Um, so anyway, I switch out here into maybe. Maybe should be able to wall him, and maybe can wall him. But he can just go for the rest talk. And uh, so we've got two, and, and so like I can poison him, but I, with, I can use Toxic, but that's not going to help. So uh, he actually switches out, and like, I've got enough hazards up, I think you're going to die. Yeah, so anyway, he goes out into his um, Sharpedo, and I actually am really glad he, I got him Toxic, because usually the MO for these things is go for Protect, and now it's not going to want to go for Protect. Uh, actually, looking at my team, he could sweep me right here. Uh, I don't think I, oh, I... I'd have to protect stall him with my Aldino and hope that I can take enough hits. Uh, now Audi goes into, gro into uh, Golbat. I go for the Wish and think this should be awesome. I don't think he can take out... He can't take out Steelix. Uh, I do the math and he cannot take out Steelix. So I withdraw. Go now out into Steelix. And I'm thinking, um, unless he's running a special set, this should be okay. He goes for the taunt, that's fine, I don't care, because I'm back up to almost full HP. Uh, now the smart move here would be to switch out, because Jaraball's not going to do too much. He's Eviolite. He's got the uh, Super Fang, so that's the best he can do, and that actually does quite a lot, because it, I mean, it does half. So, um, not a good situation for me to be in. Jaraball, as I said earlier, is not going to do anything. I go ahead and withdraw. I got him to maybe... Uh, although, had I stayed in and been really clever, I could have predicted the roost and gone for a, a stab earthquake and actually done a decent chunk of damage. But the odds of that actually working out would have been really slim. So, um, yeah, get taunted again. Gonna go ahead and switch out. Uh, go out into George III. Don't think he can do too much against me, but then again, I can't really do too much against him, especially considering he has roost. He has roost. I have, um, I have slack off. Uh, this really could have just worked out to be a really stally battle, but luckily he wasn't playing stally. So, uh, one round of spikes, one round of stealth rock, Regice is dead. Oh, thank God. I was so scared. Uh, but I went for the skull just in case he survived the entry hazards. Uh, actually, I wasn't expecting him to switch in that. I was expecting him to switch in something. But, yeah, now out is Meloetta. I'm thinking, well, what can I do? I think this Meloetta is about to sweep me. Um, he goes ahead and goes for Thunderbolt. I actually have no idea what Meloettas do. I've never seen him. I've seen a Meloetta once in a battle, and I cannot for life. I think I was actually, um, it was Challenge Cup anyway. So I have no idea what Meloettas actually do. So I go ahead and withdraw George III. Go out now into maybe, and I'm like, I'm thinking he's special, so probably doesn't, uh, so he goes ahead and Relic Songs here, and gets a crit, whatever. Uh, now he's having to pirouette for him, and I'm thinking, 
uh, like, what's he going to do, Focus Blast? I think I can, I think he'll probably miss that. I go ahead and go for Protect to see what he's going to do. He goes for Relic Sun, I'm like, I can take that, that's not a problem. Um, so maybe it's like, yeah, I'm just, I think I go for Toxic here. And then he goes for Close Combat, and I'm like, oh, God, I'm an idiot! Although there's not really much I could have done. I mean, I could have predicted things, but... Mm, uh, so now I'm going to go out into Tachikoma. This was a dumb move. Because I'm no longer Scarfed, and Meloetta has decent speed. So Tachikoma is going to get taken out here. And that was dumb. That was really, really dumb. So Tachikoma is down. I, yeah, Meloetta, I think, has really good speed. So anyway, I go now out into George III. Um, and I'm going to have to slack off here, and I'm hoping that I can survive. Thunderbolt, I can. It's fine. It's fine. I actually don't remember. So I'll look up after this battle uh, what the deal is with Meloetta in terms of its stats in its two forms. But uh, at this at the point of this battle, I didn't actually know. Uh, so he goes for the Relic Song here. George III takes a decent chunk of damage, but um, or not that actually much damage at all, actually. So I go for the Scald. He survives on just a little bit of HP, but it was a crit. So I was like, ah, oh, crit! Uh, uh, he didn't get burned. Um, but it was a crit, so... Um, yeah, whatever. So at the point, is I'm going to take him out with another Scald. And so that is a threat down. So I've taken out... Um, three really big threats on his team, but he's taking out more of mine. I am down to two Pokemon, and I don't think I can do anything to Golurk. I, I mean, Golurk is going to win him the match. Uh, I might outspeed, um, but it's highly unlikely if he runs any speed EVs, he's going to outspeed my Slowking. Slowking is slow as anything. I think actually he, he'd outspeed no matter what. Anyway, uh, I sack Hatterak on the off chance that I can take a hit after, uh, after Regenerator. Uh, so I'm hoping for an outspeed. I don't get it. He goes for the Shadow Punch and takes out George III. And that, and he has won the battle. 0-3, whatever you want to say. And that was a great game, Flaming Axel. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this battle. I retreat with my tail um, between my legs. Very sad pandas. Uh, my RU team is apparently not as invincible as I thought it was.